Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Adding Fractions 1. Overview and Adding. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. Before I begin, I would like to point out that adding fractions is really tricky. So do not feel bad if you've never managed to get it sorted out or if you have forgotten. This series of videos is here to make it really clear. There are three steps to adding fractions. Preparation, Operation, Presentation. In the preparation step, we check that the fractions have the same unit or denominator, and if not, we change their units so that they are the same. This is covered in the video Adding Fractions 2, Preparation, Expressing Fractions with a Common Denominator. In the operation step, we add the fractions with common denominators. We will cover that in this video as it is the place where the adding occurs. In the presentation step, we put the answer into its simplest form. This makes it easier to recognise. This will be covered in a separate video, Adding Fractions 3, Presentation, Simplifying the Results. Right now, we will cover the operation step. The actual adding of fractions can only occur when both the fractions have the same denominator. The denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction that tells you the size of each piece by telling you how many pieces make up one whole. The numerator, the number on the top, tells you how many pieces you have. In order to be able to add fractions, the pieces need to be the same size, that is, have the same denominator. The answer will also have that denominator. Two sevenths and four sevenths have the same denominator, they are ready to be added. Two thirds and three quarters do not have the same denominator. We cannot add them as they are, they will need to be prepared. Here is an example. Two fifths plus one fifth. The denominator for the answer is the same as the denominators of the fractions being added. Our answer will be fifths. We add the numbers on the top, the numerators. Two plus one equals three. Two fifths plus one fifth equals three fifths. You can see it represented here with a bar model. Two fifths plus one fifth equals three fifths. People like circle models of fractions too. Two fifths plus one fifth equals three fifths. An example with sevenths. Three sevenths plus two sevenths. The denominator for the answer is the same as the denominators of the fractions being added. Our answer will be sevenths. We will add the numbers on the top, the numerators. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 5 sevenths. You can see it represented here with a bar model. 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 5 sevenths. 4 eighths plus 5 eighths. We add the numerators and use the same denominator for the answer. 4 eighths plus 5 eighths equals 9 eighths. 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths. We add the numerators and use the same denominator for the answer. 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths equals 22 fifteenths. For now we will leave our answers in raw form. Any simplification will come in the presentation stage and is covered in another video. Here are four fraction addition problems for you to try yourself. The worked answers will be at the end of the video. Leave the answers in raw form. 1 quarter plus 3 quarters. 4 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. 4 sixths plus 5 sixths, 9 eighteenths plus 6 eighteenths. This video covered the operation step of adding fractions. Check in the description below for links to the companion videos on preparation and tidying up. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible. Here are the answers for the additional problems. 1 quarter plus 3 quarters equals 4 quarters. 4 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 6 sevenths. 4 sixths plus 5 sixths equals 9 sixths. 9 eighteenths plus 6 eighteenths equals 15 eighteenths.